What would you do if your mother demanded you give up your home for your pregnant sister? My little sister recently got pregnant. Now my entitled mother is demanding I hand over my house to her because she needs it more than me. I have a 28-year-old sister that has honestly been the golden child to my mother for as long as I can remember. My parents divorced when I was a teenager because my mother cheated and has always been controlling, manipulative, and narcissistic. Sadly, my sister was like her little mini-me. Our mother also seemed to believe she had total authority over me any time she so much as snapped her fingers. She'd snap them and order me around like a dog. It was demeaning. My sister always backed her up, too. So I went to live with my dad full-time after our parents split while my sister stayed with mom. The two of them were very alike. Both pretty much stopped speaking with my father unless it was about money. Luckily, I'd like to say I ended up more like my dad. My father was very business-oriented and started teaching me how to do his line of work as soon as I was 16. I got pretty good at it. After 12 years of working for my father, I was made a partner in his company. Things were great. But then, about eight months ago, tragedy struck. My father had become somewhat immunocompromised due to being a heavy smoker for much of his life. He died at only 60 years old after he caught COVID-19. I met my mother and sister for the first time in years after we had a socially distanced funeral for my father over video call. My father was cremated by his own request and buried in a local cemetery. My sister seemed to grieve, but my mother looked indifferent the entire time. I was not surprised. The last time she saw my father, she screamed at him that he owed her more money and then threatened to sue him, to which he just laughed at her. He'd paid alimony and child support as long as he was legally mandated to, and no more than that. He even put 30 k toward my sister's college fund. But ten years after the divorce, he was no longer legally required to send mom money anymore because of the judge's ruling. She's by no means broke. She works the same job she has had for nearly three decades. She fully owns the old family home we used to share, and even rents out two of the rooms in it to Airbnb regularly. She's by no means hurting for money. Sometime after the funeral, my dad's will was read. Apparently he'd figured that if his heavy smoking didn't eventually do him in, something else would. He even joked about it in a pre-recorded video. I was pretty much willed nearly all of his assets from most of his money to his business and home. He left my sister a car and about 10k in cash. My mother only got one grand and a few other items that she'd been claiming were rightfully hers since the divorce. Beyond that, I got the rest. My girlfriend now lives with me in the house my father passed down to me. My sister pretty much went from finishing two years of community college to living off her boyfriend and only working part-time online for several years. During that time, she got pregnant but suffered a traumatic miscarriage. I wasn't aware till after the funeral because we were practically no contact and no one else told me. When lockdown hit, her boyfriend's job started downsizing little by little and eventually he was only able to stay on part-time. This hampered their finances. It got to the point where he was asking her to look for better employment as well since he was trying to find a second job. Then she got pregnant. She claims she and her boyfriend were careful but calls it her miracle baby. One evening, I got an unexpected knock at my door. When I answered, I was unpleasantly greeted by both my mother and sister. They both walked right in without even asking and made themselves comfortable in my living room. My girlfriend and I shared a look of confusion and I asked why they'd come by. My sister was giggling and looking all over, opening doors and seemingly giving herself a tour of my home. My mother had just plopped herself down on my sofa and snapped her fingers while demanding a cold bottled water. My girlfriend got the water for her and I asked what they were here for. My sister seemed all giddy and just ignored me to continue snooping around my home. Soon after I heard her yell from down the hall, Mommy! It's perfect. My mother finally spoke up and said, Well, I think it's time to do your brotherly duty. To which I was like, What? My mother then proceeded to say, Now that your father has passed, this house should have gone to me since I was his only spouse. But you can still fix this. You make plenty of money and could just buy a new house. Your sister needs this one so much more since she's the one with a baby on the way. But if you're so determined on staying, you could just keep to one room and cover all of the bills until you decide to move out. My girlfriend and I knew exactly where this was going and how it'd play out if I let it go on, so I guess you could say we were mentally prepared. I took a deep breath and stated aloud, 
Yeah, that's not happening. You don't order me around, especially not in my own damn home. Yes, I make plenty of money, but like Dad, I'm going to save it for when I really need it. Not that you care. My mother started snapping her fingers at me like she used to and loudly stated, Stop, I am your mother, and you will do as I say because I brought you into this world, and I'm the one in charge here. And as far as you're concerned, I am God. That means when I say jump, you say how high? This house is rightfully mine, and your sister will live here. Consider this your formal eviction. But since I'm gracious, I'll give you two weeks to pack your bags and transfer the deed to me. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking, this can't be real. But then I just grabbed my cell phone and started dialing. My mother quickly stood up and yelled, what are you doing? I retorted, I'm doing what I should have done as soon as this crap started. I'm calling the cops to get you out of my damn house. She started swiping at me and managed to knock my phone out of my hands. Then she proceeded to try and stomp on it, but I was quick enough to snatch it up before she could. That's it. If you don't leave, I will force you out myself. My mother proceeded to slap me across the face. I returned the favor twice as hard backhanded. So much so I ended up knocking her back down onto the couch. She held her hand over her reddening and smeared makeup face in total shock and then yelled, How dare you? I went back to dialing on my phone and said that if she didn't leave, I would have the police come and remove her by force. My sister came barreling in between us, holding her arms out and saying that I should just do the right thing for once in my life and be a good big brother. I snapped and said, Oh, really? I'm the bad sibling. Last I checked, I was the one who's had to work for a living since I was a teenager. I had to do all the chores in the house while you just sat on your butt playing video games or talking with your friends all day. And you used to steal my hard-earned money just to go out shopping after you spent all of your allowance. You're a complete mooch and thief, so I don't owe you a penny. Now both of you get out before I decide to dial this last number. My sister started to tear up and cry like a baby, saying, Mommy, make him stop. My mother began hugging her and kissing her cheeks while giving me a death glare. Then she seemed to think she'd gotten smart and said, You know, if you do call the police, I can just tell them that you hit me. And who knows, I could maybe say to everyone you wanted to do a lot worse to a poor pregnant girl in need. I don't think that'd be a very good thing for your... I cut her off with a raised hand and said, Just stop. If you haven't noticed, my girlfriend over there has had her phone out recording almost this whole time. And that means we have recorded evidence of you assaulting me first and openly stating you'd lie to the police. I don't think that'd be so good for your reputation at your job or your little Airbnb. If looks could kill, my mother would have blown me up like a tactical nuke. But she quickly deflated and started dragging my crying sister out by the arm. My sister was somehow acting like a complete toddler and broke loose of our mother's grip to sit down on my porch step and have a tantrum. I just gave my mother a look and said, Do you see now? This is the result of the spoiled way you raised her. She glared at me again, and then I was treated to a show of my mother trying to drag my sister off of my porch steps. However, she latched onto the porch handrails and kept saying, You promised me! Over and over again. I let out a cackle and told them both from the door to never come back. My mother flipped me the bird and then went back to trying to drag my sister off the porch. It took a few minutes, but she finally got my sister to get up and leave. As she walked away, she told me how I am a cruel, heartless piece of crap who will go to hell for this. I laughed some more and said that there's also a special place in hell for liars and narcissists who try to manipulate others to get their way. My mother clenched her fists and was about to say more when I just held up my smartphone again with it recording and said, The clock is ticking, Mom. Get off my property. My mother then walked my sister to the car, gave me one last snooty look, and drove off. I thought that was the end of it, but letting things go was never something my mother would do. After a few days, I started getting messages from people I know, and some relatives online. A lot of them were furious with me. I tried to check my Facebook but couldn't see anything they were saying because my sister and mother both blocked me on their social media. However, my girlfriend could still see everything because they kept their profiles set to open. We screenshotted everything and then printed some of it out. Both of their profiles had posts that claimed I stole the house that was meant to be my sister's inheritance right out from under her by paying off the lawyer who handled dad's will. This is a complete and utter lie, and they both know it. I called my lawyer, 
who was also my father's lawyer and a trusted family friend. I gave him copies of all the screenshots from Facebook and the video my girlfriend had recorded the day my mother demanded my house. He wanted to just write a formal C and D, but I wanted to take it further. He sent them a letter I told him to write via express mail that had to be signed for, so I know they got it. My mother called me in an absolute fury the same day the letter was delivered. I told her that if she and my sister didn't redact all of the untrue social media posts they made about me and tell the absolute truth, I'd send all of the information I have to the whole family, her boss, and upload the videos we'd recorded of her online. Then I'd sue her on top of it. She called me unreasonable, and that she just did what she did for my sister's sake. Then she went into a full-blown lecture reiterating her belief that my sister still needs my house more than me. I bluntly stated I didn't care what she thought, and if she didn't redact everything and tell the truth, I'd make sure her career would be over. She begrudgingly said, Fine! You win! Have it your way and keep the freaking house! Before hanging up the phone. That very evening, all of the lying posts disappeared from both their profiles. I was unblocked, and my mother gave me and everyone else a lazy apology. She claimed she jumped the gun with everything she said because she thought my sister needed my house more than me because she's broke and pregnant. She admitted the house was rightfully mine according to my father's will, and she knew that even before my father passed away. So she had no right to try and claim it. As for my sister, she also apologized, but more or less just parroted everything our mother said while claiming she just went along with her ideas. Then she blamed what she did all on our mother and her pregnancy hormones. The replies poured in for some time on both my mother and sister's profiles. Many are furious with them for trying to take my house. I got a lot of messages of sorries and my bads from those who'd previously believed her. It really showed me who was more on her side to begin with since they were all believing her nonsense so quickly. They were mostly people from her side of the family anyway. No one on my father's side believed her at all and openly said so. My sister and her boyfriend ended up moving in with our mother to save money, but she put them in the basement to keep her Airbnb running. Soon after, my sister started crying on social media that she can't live upstairs. I'm pretty sure the two of them were fighting with each other because all my sister did after that is complain online, and my mother barely posted anything on her social media anymore because of the previous stunt she'd tried. 